It was a push for more state resources to deal with this Jackson water crisis, and it's a debate that will certainly heat up with lawmakers return here in little more than a month. Free the land. Free the land. Free the land. Clean the water. Clean the water. Keep it public. Keep it public. Protesters with the Mississippi Rapid Response Coalition and the Poor People's Campaign standing outside the state capitol, calling on the state to provide things like home water filtering devices, watering stations for Jackson schools, and more money to fix Jackson's water problems. Do we have to wait for once again everyone in the United States to see that Jackson, Mississippi, or Mississippi as a whole, is still living in a state where we need federal troops to come in to guarantee basic rights? Or can the governor, can the legislator come back here, reconvene, and make sure that the residents of Jackson have the basic needs such as water? The calls come in the midst of an EPA investigation into Jackson's water quality, as well as the overwhelming repair needs. The state has provided $36 million in matching money to what the city has agreed to spend in its American Rescue Plan Act money. But these protesters, including the mayor's sister, claim the state should pay the entire bill. Our demand is clear. The state must fully fund Jackson's water, sewer, infrastructure issue. It must be fully funded. And we want those dollars, if anybody's unclear, we want those dollars to come straight to the city. That will be the request for Jackson lawmakers, hoping to convince the state to put up more state funds for Jackson water repairs. I think we're in a great position to receive some. Understanding it may be difficult, but I think we're in a great position uh, to receive some more funds. But state lawmakers outside the capital city are still hesitant. They are considering ways to help Jackson with its crime and water dilemmas. I think they, they're well, well represented, and I don't know that it's a hard sell. We do want, and like I told the mayor in there, I do want Jackson to have skin in the game. And, and some investment in, in what we do for them. I think they have received more money than the, the other cities. So, uh, you know, we're, we're going to look at Jackson. I mean, we know there's a problem. We're going to do everything we can to help them. But again, we can't break the state and we can't uh, discriminate against the other cities while we're doing it. The governor responded to the EPA investigation, pointing out that so far Jackson has received 68 percent of water funding and has not been denied any funding requests so far. But that measure and others will certainly be looked at much more closely when lawmakers return here in January. Live at the state capitol, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.